One of the questions that I get asked the most is, Neya, 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 tell me when my manifestation is going to come. And it comes to these questions in multiple variety and forms, like in tarot reading, it comes up in coaching sometimes. After a while, the day I've been doing the affirmations, so they're like, when, when? I saw some movement, but when is it going to be stable? Or how can I manifest in a time crunch? Like I really wanted this precise date. You guys, in today's video, we're going to do a fun test together that will tell you precisely where your manifestation is going to come. And obviously, by understanding the results of this test, then you're, gonna, you're also going to learn not only how to manifest fast or faster, depending on the results. So sort of let's say that results shows that you're not that close to your manifestation, how to speed it up. Or, and again, it's going to teach you also how to manifest in a time crunch. So let's Let's talk all about timing. Let's do this very simple, fun test together to understand precisely when your manifestation is going to come. I did this so many times, it just doesn't fail. It tells you exactly the time. So, <laughs> oh my God, what was that? So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Um, I apologize for my cats playing around the house. So hello everybody, if you guys are new, my name is Nia, and on this channel I talk everything about manifestation, esotericism, and so much more. On Patreon, I make extra weekly video, but if you subscribe today, you find hundreds if not thousands of hours and videos so that you can watch literally just about anything. Podcasts, uh, reading together, some of the masters of the law. Patreon is a community full of infos and videos. So if you want more, just subscribe. The link is down below. And for my formula coaching, which is my e-course, it contains hours of other content that teaches you how to manifest, taking a step to step approach to manifestation as well as the science behind manifestation through my webinar and as well as meditation subliminals. It's all there in the coaching formula. You can check it down below. Anyway, let's just go to the video now. So what you will need for this test is very simple. I will highly suggest you to take pen and piece of paper or graphite and piece of paper or a notebook, but you need to write things down. Why? You need to write things down because it is easier to reflect when you just write the questions down. If I ask you the question for the test and you just think about it, you might get a little bit lost. I want you to see it. All right. I want you to see it right in front of your eyes, write it down. So take your time, pause the video if you need. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be long, but it's going to, it's going to be fast. This test is seriously. So, um, when you're ready, you take the piece of paper and you write down, I am in capital letters. So I am. And then look for a couple of seconds to this word. I am and then define yourself. And by the way, stop right now before you even do anything, before you even write down anything or click off. This, this test is stupid. Stop. I know it sounds silly, but I'm going to explain you why this works in a second and it gives you the precise timing. And before you write down any definition of yourself, I don't want you to think about it for long. It has to be the first thing that comes into your head. The most honest and genuine things. I am what? What the first thing that comes into your head? You write it down. So let's do it again. Look at the I am. What are you now? Write it down. First thing that comes. So I give you my example while you write down yours. Um, I did this. I do this all the time. And for example, I was, I recently, like I did it recently and I wrote down, I am. And then the first thought that came into my mind was this, I am very lucky. And I kept hearing the voice of my dad when I was a small child that impressed this belief in my subconscious mind. Oh, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. And that is the first thing that I define myself. I am so lucky. I am so lucky. Like things always work out to, for me because even though I wouldn't u- even use manifestation, there is some miracle always waiting for me because I'm so lucky. Then the second thought, I am so protected. And then I remind myself of all the past experience where I felt I was extremely protected and lucky. And then I go on and on and on and on. And another thing that I recently thought was, oh, I am ready. I am ready for it because I'm manifesting um, a specific thing. And I said, oh, I'm ready for 
for it now and before I wasn't feeling it that way so have you wrote it down genuinely the first thought that you had don't worry if it's negative we're gonna fix it why this exercise tell you the exact timing of your manifestation because your manifestation takes how long as it takes for you to sit in your wish fulfilled, in the desired state of consciousness. Let me repeat because repetition is key. Your desire takes how long it takes you to sit in your, in your wish fulfilled, in your desired state. This exercise, this test is extremely useful. You can do it even once a week, twice a week to check with yourself where you're at. If you reply genuine, if you're lying about it, you're only fooling yourself. I'm always genuine. I am not perfect. There are times when I thought I am exhausted. I'm tired. I am sad. I am depressed. So when I reply to myself in this way, what am I supposed to, what I know? The precise timing? Very long time. I probably will take two or other three months or even longer to get my manifestation because I am sitting in that state of consciousness. And let's say that I do this test another time in the week and I reply the opposite, then I say to myself, that's good, I'm going in the right direction. However, I've been double-minded because one day I felt this way and another day I felt this other way. So what am I supposed to do? I have to keep affirming because evidently the belief is not there yet that I already have what I want. So I proceed and keep affirming. And you might say, but I just can't, I just have to affirm anyway. And so I don't need this test. So why I don't just affirm? Of course you should do that, but you're the one asking when your manifestation is going to come. So if you're asking this is because you are where in the wrong state of consciousness, in the state of consciousness of the person of the identification of your old self that is still waiting. That's why we do the test. Of Obviously, you need to keep affirming. That's besides the point. The point is you are asking when it's going to come. But let's say that you reply, I am ready. Or you have replied something like this, I am ready. Um, then you know the precise timing. The precise timing is now. It's done. It's going to drop any minute now. I literally, every single time I have said, I am ready, within a day, Things is like a bridge of events started to happen. So bridge of events indicates like events or things or people coming my way, confirming that my manifestation was coming about. And then it literally unfolded the days, the following days. So what have you answered? Comment down below. Let's talk about time, uh, manifesting on a time crunch. So let's say that you want to manifest something for St. Valentine's Day. You can affirm, I have this scene by St. Valentine's Day. A friend of mine did it. Extremely successful. She got her manifestation exactly the month that she was repeating. For, she was repeating. I'm going to get it in September. I'm going to get it in September. And I said, but you can get it early if you stop repeating that you're going to get it in September. It didn't matter. She was so convinced that she believed so strong that she was going to get whatever she wanted by September that it had to happen in September. So that's how you manifest in a time crunch. You do the test, you check with your awareness, you check where you are in terms of state of consciousness, and then you affirm for a specific timing by checking always that you're not double-minded. This test never fails if you're honest with yourself. Why again? Because I am is the definition of God. I am is the definition of consciousness. Consciousness is everything and everyone beyond multiple worlds. It can identify with anything. It can become anything. I am is the infinite awareness. And guess what? You constantly, without even realizing, you're constantly thinking, I am this today and I am this. Look at online, how many people do TikToks or shorts and they're constantly on their phone going, I am, I am, I am, because my opinion, because I am, I am. You're constantly, especially in this generation, you are on a loop of saying I am more than you can possibly even be aware of. And because we know, because we know the law, that every state of consciousness 
consciousness reflects in our existing reality and in our experiences and whatever we think expands exponentially in our mind so the more we think certain thoughts the more it becomes stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger and bigger in a negative or positive direction then the only thing that can predict the timing of your manifestation is understand what are you subconsciously thinking that you are because I am is what creates. But you need to reply to this test in an honest way. Because if you fool yourself, then you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting any answer. So I am, and you reply to what you are, what you are right now. What you are right now. It's going to show you tons of things. It's going to show you your subconscious beliefs. The typical affirmations that you, you should do if you don't like that particular subconscious belief. is going to show you how much... Your identification comes from past experiences. Even my positive definition of I am lucky. I am so lucky. Everything always works out for me because I'm lucky. Where does it come from? It comes from a past experience because my dad has ingrained this belief in my head. Now I know I'm, I'm lucky and I'm positive that I had a father like that. But if you didn't, that's not a big deal because you can say, oh, I am so unlucky. It takes me so long to always get my manifestation. Then you know what affirmation to do. I am so lucky. My manifestation comes so fast. Literally, I'm such an instant time crunch manifester. You understand this test tells you precisely where you're at and precisely the timing of your manifestation because that, if it is an equation, that is dependent on your state of consciousness. So if you know what state of consciousness you're sitting in, you know when it's going to come. If you say you're ready, you are ready. It's, it's about to happen any minute now. If you have uh, instead reply in some other definition that are not anywhere near your wishful field, you know it's going to take a long time. Oh my God, she said it's going to take a long time. This is a limiting belief. Oh my God, I'm screwed. No, you can fix that. But how are you going to fix that if you don't even have awareness of what you're thinking subconsciously? You screwed up. You know you're far away from your manifestation. You can fix it by whatever you wrote down that you don't like, flipping the opposite thought and repeat it long enough until it becomes a mantra and it sticks into your brain. Once it sticked, you, you're even like repeating the affirmation without even noticing because you repeat it so many times, then any minute now it's going to drop. I did this so many times, even at the beginning of my manifestation. Like I remember when I did coaching with Sammy, she asked me what I wanted and she asked me exactly this, like, what are you, what you want? And I just briefly said the circumstances and she just said, flip the thoughts. And I did. And I remember the second email that I had with her, I already saw movement after not even a week. And I said to her, you know, I keep thinking the affirmation without even realizing they're just going autopilot in my head. And from the moment where they went autopilot in my head, so many bridge of events started to happen. It was just in crazy. It was insane. And I got all my manifestation in basically two weeks, uh, only utilizing two or three email of coaching rather than five. So there you go. There you go. That's why this test works. Because if you understand what state of consciousness you're in, you can speed up your manifestation by the following details that I gave you before. Or you know that you're ready and then you know it's about to happen any minute now. Does it make sense? Let me know your answers down below and I'll see you very soon on this channel as well as on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the rainbow button. I love you guys. Bye.